Okay, we have reached the final workout of our arm mechanics little progression here. Today we're gonna to focus on the finish, and I'd say the finish is the easiest. You've pretty much done all the hard work in the catch and the mid pull. Now it's just a matter of following through and again, finishing the stroke. So we started off again with that catch phase. We'll revisit some of that in this workout. Same with the mid pull, that's still incredibly important. But the finish pretty much starts right about from around this phase here from when the elbow starts to pull out of the water. So at this point, this is pretty much the end of my mid pull. I still have my full paddle exposure here. I got my forearm and my hand set up. But right about, again, just before the hips, I start to exit the water and my paddle begins to get limited or whittled down to just my hand, which eventually, you know, as you're bringing the elbow out, you can break the wrist a little bit to keep that pressure backwards on the water before it, basically the palm will turn inward slightly towards the thigh and you will exit the water uh, just past the hip. Now, again, once you're at this point here, there are diminishing gains in terms of force. You can still get a nice little snap through the finish, which does provide a little bit of propulsion, but we really don't want to be putting too much effort at this finish because what tends to happen if you do that is you stall out at the end here. Um, so you get a pause and then that basically slows down the time getting back to the start of the stroke which would have an impact on your stroke timing and your stroke rate so the finish is incredibly important primarily to maintain stroke timing uh, but again you can get a little bit of snap for propulsion out of that last little bit as well your hand position though uh, for that propulsion really needs to be getting set up uh, where those fingertips are anywhere from midline to the side of the body. So this last little bit here, uh, again, you can see the hand traveling underneath the hips. And as the hips kind of roll away, it's that last little snap there that uh, gives you that last little bit of pop. I didn't do a long video here. So boop. Um, so one thing when I talk about that pause at the end, you can see it on Derek's stroke here, right at the end there. It's got that little pause, pause, pause. It does it a little more pronounced for me at the end just to demonstrate. <laughs> totally doesn't happen naturally. Uh, as opposed to Steph here where you can see as soon as uh, she finishes the stroke, it's bam, right back up and over. And you know, if we're accelerating from the catch to the finish, Technically, at this point, your hand is traveling at the highest velocity uh, in your stroke. So, you know, why stop there? Carry that momentum up and around, get it back to the start as soon as possible so that, again, you can keep the rubber on the road, keep the force uh, applied to the water as quick as possible, which minimizes the decelerations, uh, which hopefully will lead to easier swimming in the future. We're going to talk a lot about arm accelerations in the future as well. But for the finish, uh, just make sure that uh, you're getting it past the hips, keep that timing nice, and keep the momentum up and around. So that will be the focus for today, and let's look at the workout. So the warm-up, we're going to start with another swim kick mix. Again, nothing crazy here. Just get wet, warm up the body. Uh, feel free to mix up the strokes or change up the kick however you like. Again, keep it easy. Just warm up and uh, get ready for the first little drill set. So we're going to revisit some of the work that we've done with the arm pull. So we're going to do some double arm catch skull. Remember to lower that down about 45 degrees from the surface of the water and pop the elbows. So start getting into that catch position. The double arm mid pull skull, again, coming to midline at the shoulder line and back out. So just again, get used to moving through the range of motion in the mid pull. And then we'll force those feelings, the underwater recovery, alternate the rotation of the shoulders and make sure closed fist, you're not cheating at all. Tighten that uh, <laughs> fist up and really use the forearm for the paddle. So we'll play with some of those drills uh, that we've been practicing all uh, uh, last few workouts. 
That was almost a sentence. Uh, then we're moving on to the drill set of the day. Uh, we're going to continue with our sculling. This one we're going to be sculling down here at the finish. So right around the hip, sculling back and forth. This one, if you don't have a snorkel, breathing is going to be really, really hard. So if you have a snorkel, wear a snorkel. If you don't have a snorkel, just try to turn your head. You're going to rotate the body a little bit, take that breath to the side, and you'll be fine. Just 25s. Don't breathe. Breathing's overrated. Um, so a little bit of skull finish, and then you'll turn that into 50 freestyle, where just focus on your hand placement. Make sure those fingertips are coming to the midline so that your hand is finishing under the hip a little bit as it rotates away. So good hand placement. And again, make sure you are finishing, hopefully without that stall, but we're going to work on that in a second. Uh, so then we move on to the main set. Uh, we have a number of cycles, depending on what level you're at, anywhere from one time through to three times through. Uh, could even be four times through, actually. And uh, we're just going to alternate one arm freestyle drill and freestyle for the 200. So you'll go back and forth, 50 one arm drill, one arm one way, one arm the other way, and then swim 50 free. And then do that all again, continuous without a break. So that would be the difference between swimming 50s and doing this as a 200. Make sure the focus is on that follow through. So as you are finishing, make sure you carry that momentum up and around and into that recovery, getting back to the catch or the start of your stroke as soon as you can. So that will be the focus for the one arm. Make sure that's the focus for the freestyle as well. No pause at the finish. Then we will take the 100 freestyle and build your stroke rate. So try to work on putting it all together and just playing with a little bit of speed. So again, we'll go through that one time, two times, three times, maybe even four times, depending on how much time you have. And that will be the main set. Uh, from there, we just cool down with a couple of 50s, and I'll see you in the next workout.